One of the vital functions of the United States government is to establish and maintain diplomatic relations with other countries. In every friendly and civilized nation in the world, there is an American embassy or legation. Whether it is Paris or Cairo, Shanghai or any other remote outpost, the most reliable and confidential means of communication is the courier service. Armed only with his passport, the courier, like a global postman, delivers the top secret dispatches of our government. Hospital. Now, man. Stephen McQuinn. Profession. Diplomatic courier. Taken, sir. Thank you. Isn't your mother or father sitting here? No, sir. We are traveling alone. Oh. In that case. You are an American. How did you guess? You speak strangely. <laughs> I mean, like the actors of the cinema. I'm Steve McQuinn. How do you do? I am Peter Ju. Peter. Just Peter? Just Peter. Peter? This is my sister, Martha. She does not speak English. Oh. She's very young. Oh. In your country, are you a cowboy, Mr. McQuinn? No. No, I'm not so lucky. I'm only a diplomatic courier. Diplomatic courier? What is that? Well, I deliver documents between the United States embassies and consulates. I do not understand. Well, um, let's pretend that Marta's doll is a diplomatic courier. And I am the United States Consul at Izmir, and you are the United States Ambassador at Ankara. Yes. His Excellency Peter, uh, Peter, uh... Just Peter, if you don't mind, sir. All right, Your Excellency. Now, uh, suppose you want to send me a confidential document or a confidential message very quickly. Confidential? Yes, secret. Oh. You, uh, you write it down. Right here. All right. Now, you open the courier's diplomatic pouch, put the message in. Now you send the courier to me. open the pouch, and I read the confidential message. Dear Mr. Consul, I am very happy to meet an American named Mr. McQuinn. Why, thank you, Peter. I'm very glad to meet you, too. <laughs> Mr. McQuinn? Yes. I'm Mustafa Kemal, chauffeur for United States Consulate. What kept you? Well, I, uh, the main road all flooded, Effendi. I had to travel by miserable back roads all slush and mud. I, I think we better hurry, Effendi. Uh, pretty soon even back roads will be underwater. Uh, Peter, who's supposed to be uh, picking you up? 
Please do not trouble about us, Mr. McQuinn. Who is meeting you, Peter? Your mother? Madame Villar, our aunt. Well, don't worry. She's probably been stranded on the main road. She'll be along soon. Uh, Peter, I think we'd better get your sister to a warm place. How would you like to come along with me to the consulate? I'll leave a note for your aunt. Uh, you don't want Marta to get sick, do you? No. Well, all right, then that's settled. Tell Paulus uh, Effendi to give this to Madame Villar when she comes looking for the children. Yes, Effendi. All right, come on. No, pardon me, police. I'm looking for two small children. They have gone. Gone? Gone. Where? Your Madame Villa? Yes. Well, Madame's car broke down in the course back roads. You see, I have... Where are the children? Here, madame. How long ago did they leave? An hour ago, perhaps less. Oh, it is grading, Effendi. They have been taken to the United States Consulate. How long ago? One hour, the policeman said. But now they're already in East Mir. <laughs> Are you all right, Alois? Yeah, thank you, Lucia, my dear. What now? Uh, we will call for the children at the consulate. He's madness. Colonel Bukhar is giving the orders. Orders from a dead man. Be quiet, Farag. And when we get to the consulate, my dear, Am I expected to abduct the children under the very noses of the United States officials? One howling child under each other. That's enough, Farag. I appeal to you. Reconsider. What you ask of us is impossible. Lucia will call for the children. Fly, Farag. What about Madame Villar? If the Turkish police should stop us and check our papers. On the way. But Bukhar. You have my orders. Yes? Come in. Ah, oh, McQuinn. How you been? Fine, thank you. Well, what's this? A couple of fellow passengers stranded at the airport. Oh. Martin Peter, may I present Consul Williams? How do you do, sir? Very well, thank you. Their aunt was supposed to meet them at the airport, and she didn't show up. Martha got the sniffles, so I thought... Uh -uh. See what I mean? <laughs> Here, blow, honey. Oh, uh, Mustafa, will you take the children to Wulka? Ask her to fix them some warm milk, huh? Uh, yes, yes. Be with you in a minute, Peter. <laughs> yeah, nice youngsters. Who are they, Steve? I don't know. The little girl doesn't speak English, and uh, Peter prefers to be known as just Peter. Oh? You mean he uh, wouldn't give you his right name? Well, it's probably a tongue twister. You know how sensitive kids are. Yes. Afraid somebody might laugh. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't have the heart to leave them in that icebox of a waiting room. No, of course you didn't. But, uh, well, they can't stay here. Why not? Well, they're obviously not U.S. nationals. No, I'm afraid they're going to have to wait for their aunt someplace else. Well, where would you suggest? In the street? Now, I'm just as fond of children as you are, Steve. But you shouldn't have taken the responsibility. This is a matter for the Turkish police. Well, you talk as if I'd kidnapped the children. And that's exactly what their aunt might report to the police commissaire. Well, I should see. I left a note for Madame Villar at the airport. Yes. But do you know on which side of the curtain her sympathies lie? No, I don't. Flimsier excuses have been used to embarrass the United States government, Steve. And we simply can't afford to lay ourselves open to a, a propaganda blast, no matter how ridiculous. Now, my advice is to take the children to the Turkish police immediately. Well, maybe you're right. Believe me, I wouldn't suggest it if I didn't think it was imperative, Steve. 
Now, uh, Commissaire Adatus is the head of the Izmir police. And insist on seeing him personally. Oh, uh, Mustafa will drive him. Okay, thanks. What is it, Peter? The police? Why did you bring us to the police? Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait here for your Aunt Peter. No! Please, no! Well, the police won't harm you. No! What are you afraid of, Peter? We... We had no papers. Oh? They were sent ahead to our aunt. Well, I'm sure the police will understand. But... They will ask our name. You mean your last name? Peter, why can't you give your last name? Never mind. I'm sure whatever the reason, it's your business. Well, this isn't the proper place for Martha to wait anyway. Let's get out of here. So I brought them along with me, Commissaire Adatas. The children are here at my hotel. Well, thank you very much for bringing the matter to my attention. I shall refer Madame Villar to you if she inquires here. Then you have no objection to my taking care of the children? The children are foreigners, Mr. McQuinn. If you wish to take the responsibility, that is your affair. I see. Well, thank you very much, Commissaire. Goodbye. He is taken into his room. Now is our chance to seize them. No. We'll wait. For what? You may have your chance back later. Night of nightmares. Why later? If we must take the children by force, we'll do it just before our ship sails. When it's too late for the American to alert the Turkish police. All right, cow folks, this is the hay. Everybody in. Adam boy. Oh, and let's not forget the diplomatic courier. Never can tell when you'll want to send a secret message. Confidential. That's right, Your Excellency. Mr. McQuinn. Yes, Peter? Why does our aunt not come? Oh, she'll be along eventually, don't worry. Now, let's get some sleep, it's late. Yes. Oh, I have to go out for a minute, Peter. If you want anything, just pick up the phone. The desk clerk knows where I am. Yes, sir. Night. Mm. Yes, indeed. But uh, that's not the only reason I asked you here, Steve. I phoned the embassy after you left. It's a good thing you got those children off your hands. Oh? Yes, you see, when you mentioned that the little boy wouldn't give his last name, I suspected something, well, something irregular. Our intelligence people had the whole story. Is that so? Yes, they're the children of Anton Juro. A Romanian industrialist with a price on his head. Juro. Uh, Juro sent them out of Romania several years ago, and they've been living at Ankara. Last week, Juro himself escaped to Crete with a, well, with a rather large fortune. The children would be excellent hostages for his return. Well, no wonder he wouldn't give his last name. Well, he's probably been told that his father's life depends on his silence. He's a brave little boy. Why were they allowed to travel alone? Well, you see, the secret police learned they were at Ankara. And there wasn't time for their aunt, this uh, Madame Villar, to come all the way from Crete. Anything wrong, Steve? Uh, no, no. You're sure? No, it's, it's just, just a little headache, that's all. Well, uh, maybe you'd like to run along then, huh? Oh, do you mind? No, not at all. Oh, uh, McQuinn, if she's Turkish, be careful. She may have a father who doesn't hold with Ataturk's Emancipation of women? Yes, I'll remember that. <laughs> Mr. McQuinn. Yes? I'm Peter and Marta's aunt, Antoinette Villar. Something wrong, Mr. McQuinn? No, no, I, I, uh, 
just wasn't expecting anyone quite so, uh... Thank you. The children told me how you rescued them from that desolate waiting room. You've been very kind. Not at all. Peter Mata and I had a lot of fun. If I'd known they were in such good hands, I wouldn't have worried. My taxi broke down on the way to the airport. Oh? Uh, where are the children? I sent them aboard ship. Oh, you didn't have to disturb them. They were perfectly welcome to spend the night here. Oh, you're very kind, but we couldn't impose any further. Oh, uh, couldn't I order something from the bar? Some other time, if we should meet. I just remain to say thank you in person. Oh, what, uh, what ship are you sailing on? I'd, um, I'd like to send the children a little present when the shops open in the morning. That's very generous of you, but the book arrest is sails at midnight. Thank you again, and goodbye. Goodbye. careful with that drug. The girl only whimpered, but the boy struggled so hard for I could hardly hold him. All right, get them undressed and into bed. <coughs> oh, you should be in bed yourself, Alois. Maybe I'd see. You're killing yourself. Joe escaped because of my stupidity. When he returns, begging for his children, then I will think about dying. My honor. Honor rooted in dishonor. Oh, idiot. The American has gone to the police. As soon as he left you. The police. Impossible. He was perfectly satisfied. Satisfied? <laughs> You must order the captain to sail at once, Bukhar. No! Any attempt to sail before midnight would be suspicious to the Turkish authorities. We would be intercepted before we could clear the harbor. Don't you understand? I wonder how McQuinn. Get some hot coffee. You must revive the boy. Get going, Fag! Commissar Adatis, madam, your pardon for this intrusion, but I must examine your passport. May I ask why? Mr. McQuinn claims you are not who you say, that you are kidnapping two children. Isn't this a little melodramatic, Mr. McQuinn? I want to make sure those children get to their father. Your passport, please. Monkey paper. I beg your pardon. A phony. Madame Villar was a matronly woman, graying about 50. That's not very complimentary, Mr. McQuinn. Where are the children? Sleeping. I want to talk to Peter. Come, sir. Isn't this a little idiotic? Do you have any objections about being uh, identified by Peter? Of course not. Well? Sleep, poor dear. Hello, Peter. Hello. Peter, will you show the commissaire that snapshot of your aunt? Snapshot? Yes, the picture you showed me at the airport. Would you get it, please? Apologies, madame. Wait, Commissaire. Peter, are you certain this is the picture you showed me at the airport? Answer, Peter. Yes. Now I think you better leave, Mr. McQuinn. I'm sorry. I guess my imagination was playing tricks on me. Your concern for the children is understandable. I wouldn't forgive myself either if anything would happen to them. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Excellent, Peter. Excellent. You were very wise to tell me about the picture, Jan. Remember, as long as you cooperate, no harm will come to you or to Martin. Mr. McQuinn. I forgot to return this. From Ismail, Your Excellency. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye again. What did he mean, from Ismail, Your Excellency? It was a game we played about ambassadors and kings. do you expect us to be, Mr. McQuinn? Who the devil are you? Colonel Bucca, attached to the Romanian legation. You must want Anton Jura pretty badly to stoop to child snatching, Colonel. You know, this is really none of your affair, Mr. McQuinn. Children are everybody's affair. <laughs> How wonderfully idealistic. I'm really sorry you persisted so. Because I can't put you ashore to alert the authorities. And I can't take you back to Romania with the children. Call Farak. Inside, please. Don't force me to use this in front of the children, Mr. McQueen. When Farrakh knocks, you come out, Mr. McQueen. And no tricks, please. Unless you want the children out. cowboy film you saw? Yes. Well, who finally won, the good men or the bad men? The good men? Well, life is pretty much the same thing. The bad men don't stay on top for very long because there's always a Peter Juro growing up to take his father's place. You understand? Yes, sir. And if you ever have any doubts, Peter, just remember how those cowboy movies always end. Okay, partner? Okay, partner. You take good care of Martha, Peter. Remember, you're top hand now. Yes, sir. Mr. McQuinn, what are you doing here? My commissariatus. Are the children in safe? Oh, yes, yes, they're fine. How did you know that? Take them away. A peasant found the body of a woman near the airport. The woman you described is the children's aunt. Oh, no. Perhaps you would tell them. Yes, of course. I'll tell them later. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 
Everything's all right, Peter. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> all right, all right. So I bought the kid a pair of long pants. So it isn't strictly protocol. But you can't look when Forget it. it. I'm delivering these kids to their father and Elizabeth. So, Excuse me. Hello, honey. Come on. 